Hi, my name is Darius from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Darius. When solo queuing with Darius, it's really important to snowball early game. So calling for your jungler a lot when you need it, when you slow push the wave and dive, is something that can really get you a lead every game. Another good thing with Darius is playing really selfish in team fights. When your teammates go in and get the enemies low, you can go in and look for kill steals and get resets off of the opponents. Generally, it's something frowned upon, but in this case, it's actually crucial for you to carry by getting last hits on your ultimate. When you get last hits on your ultimate, you get Fury, you get bonus eight AD, you get five stacks on everyone you hit for like the next five to 10 seconds and you basically win the team fight. When laning with Darius, it's really important to control your wave. Every time you look for harass, you're probably going to slow push the wave. And every time the enemy goes for a last hit, it's important to abuse them. A good example is against range opponents, you start with Q and then you go E so you can catch off the range opponent when they go for a last hit on the creep. And against melees, it's good to go W so every time they go in for an auto on the creep, you can walk up auto W and then throw a Q out and make sure that they take a lot of damage for every time they try to last hit. This all scales into when the enemy jungler can gank you or if you can w straight out one versus two them because of your laning. For team fights on Darius, it's important to play selfish, but you can be the engager by flash eing. It's not very common, but if you can get it and your team's nearby, you'll probably win the team fight just off of that another thing that will make you win the team fight is when you get five stacks on one target or if you get the kill reset the reason why this is so strong is once you get a kill reset and you auto attack and then ult another target it instantly does up to 500 to a thousand damage depending on your level and what point of the game it is it's very game breaking because and within three seconds, the amount of damage you do is really, really ridiculous. When playing Darius, you can one versus two a lot of champions. A good combo to one versus two is against Shen and Rek'Sai. The reasoning for this is they're both melee. They both don't do that much damage. And when they all in you, you can kite them and basically one versus two them when you're level six. He's just that kind of champion that destroys a lot of melee tanks, but can also die to range damage dealers such as Elise or maybe Nar in lane. With Darius, it's really important to have engaged tools so he's not a one-man army. Some good champions to play with Darius is Gragas or Alistar because they can go in, tank damage, and still start out the fight so you can follow up. For runes on Darius, I like to go 15 AD flat armor and flat MR. If you're against AD opponents, I like to go flat CDR. And if you're against AP opponents, I like to go HP per level on yellows. For masteries on Darius, I like to go 21-9. The reasoning for this is in this meta where most tanks go 21-9, it's just to do more damage since they build tank anyways. For skill order on Darius, you usually always start Q and then in lane you have an option of going W or E. W is better against melee targets where you can just like auto W and then they can't really trade with you and E is better for range targets or melee targets that aren't getting close enough to you to hit. It's mainly for punishing and not so much for damage. For item build on Darius your main item is Black Cleaver but if your lane didn't go well, you can stop at Phage and either go into Dead Man's Plate or Spirit Visage. This both depends on what your opponent is building or wh what opponents you're against, whether it's magic damage or physical damage. It's up to you to decide which one to go into, but you'll eventually be building both items because it's tank. As for items after Black Cleaver, Spirit Visage, and Dead Man's Plate, you have an option of going into Sterix, more tank, such as Thornmail, maybe Randuins, and generally any item that you think that will fit your needs as Darius. 
Thanks for watching my basic champion guide to Darius. Make sure to check out more low class guides at lowclass.com. Certain melees that gank him a lot. A good example would be Olaf is commonly good against Aurelia, but against good Aurelia players, it's very hard to be.